In this sub-lesson, we are going to see how to configure FHRP for IPv6 and validate the information between the devices. For this demo, we are going to use the same setup as HSRP and VRRP. We have NX1 and NX2 where we'll be running HSRP for IPv6 and NX3 and NX4 which are acting as access switches. The hosts are connected to NX3 and NX4 respectively. Let's jump onto the terminals. Let's jump onto NX1. For this demonstration, we'll first work on configuring an IPv6 address under VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So we go into the config mode, say interface VLAN 10, say IPv6 address 2001db8 colon colon 2 slash let's say 48. And right now show feature pipe include enabled. We do not have HSRP, so we'll enable feature HSRP. So we'll go into push mode, feature HSRP, and say pop. We're back under interface. And here we say HSRP version 2, and say HSRP 10, and say IPv6. That means it is being used for IPv6. And we say priority 110, and IP 2001, db8 colon colon 1. This is our IPv6 virtual address. And we also say preempt. So we are enabling preemption on HSRP for IPv6. Okay. And we now go on to VLAN 20, interface VLAN 20, and say HSRP version 2, HSRP 20 IPv6, and say IP 2001 db8. Yeah, before getting into VLAN 20, HSRP configuration mode, let's first assign the IPv6 address. IPv6 address 2002 db8 colon colon 2 slash 48. And um, then we can get back into HSRP 20 IPv6. And then we configure IP 2002 db8 colon colon 1 and that's it because for VLAN 20 NX1 is going to act as HSRP standby. We now move on to NX2 and on NX2 we first enable the feature HSRP and say interface VLAN 10 IPv6 address 2001 colon db8 colon colon 3 slash 48 and HSRP version 2 and HSRP 10 IPv6 and say IP 2001 colon db8 colon colon 1 and we should be good and then we move on to interface VLAN 20 and we configure the IPv6 address 2002 db8 colon colon 3 slash 48 and then we configure HSRP version 2 HSRP 20 IPv6 and say priority 110 preemption and um, IP 2002 db8 colon colon 1 and uh, this should take care of enabling HSRP v6 on uh, both NX1 and NX2. Let's now validate the state of HSRP. And we go back here and say on the command line, we run the command show HSRP, let's say group 10 detail. And we can see in the show HSRP command output, this NX1 is acting as the active because we configured the priority as 110 and says it may preempt. The virtual IP address for this group is derived from the HSRP virtual MAC address. And the virtual MAC address is what we can see here is calculated based on the group number and the range of the MAC addresses for HSRP for IPv6. And the detail output will also show you the different states the HSRP process goes through or the group grows through. Similarly, we can see the information show HSRP brief to look at the state of both VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. 
and their respective active and standby addresses. For VLAN 10, it's active, so we see the active address as local. For VLAN 20, it is standby, so we see the active or the standby address as local. We can move to NX2 and look at the same command, show HSRP group 20 detail, and this shows the information that HSRP or the group 20 is active on this device. The virtual IP address, again, is automatically calculated. And the standby router information can also be seen here. The virtual MAC address for this group is, again, based on the group number. 14 is the hexadecimal representation for group 20. At this point, you must be wondering how it calculated the HSRP virtual IP address. If you look at the show IPv6 interface VLAN 10, you can see under the IPv6 virtual addresses configured, you will see the link local address and the IPv6 address that we configured as the gateway under the configuration mode. So both these addresses can be found here. Similarly, for VLAN 20, show IPv6 interface VLAN 20, and we can see the same information populated here. And if we go to show HSRP group 20 detail on this guy, and we can see the virtual IP address is FEA 014 and FEA 014. This matches. So this is how we can validate the information for HSRP IPv6.